In this video, we will learn to build a simple RESTful web service application using the NetBean IDE. First, we need to navigate to File, and then New Project. On the New Project dialog screen, navigate to Maven, Java with Maven, and then Web Application. and then click on next and here we need to give a project name so that will be rest service and then i will go by the default values over here for the rest of them and then click on next And for web server, I will select Clash Fi server for Java E web and then click finish. Now we will build a simple RESTful web service by using a POJO class. This class will contain the service implementation. We can right click on the project and navigate to new and then java class in the new java class editor we need to enter students service for class name and then click finish and in package we need to select our package and then click on finish we will add add pod notation to this class so that student service become a rest resource class and respond to rest api calls with the uri pod fragment students Now we will add a simple hello world method to this class and add path hello to this method and add get notation annotation to this method so it can respond to the HTTP get methods. We also need to import our web services packages. Import Java X dot ws dot rs dot store and then import for media type import java x rs dot core dot media type first i will define our hello world function then i will add annotation to this fun this function such as get path and produces so public string hello world it just returned a string hello world from networks academy And now I will add get annotation. So this function can respond to get request and then add path a 
hello so we can call this function with this name hello and then add produces annotation the add produces annotation is used for defining the internet media types that a REST resource class method can return to the client, such as JSON format at runtime, it will convert the return value to the JSON format. Now we need to add web.xml. In there, we will add application path, the application path that serves as the base URI for all the resources defined in this application. We can click on our project, right click on it, and then click new, and then we can go to other, and and select web and there we can click on this deployment descriptor web.xml then click next and then click finish now we need to add servlet tag and then servlet name tag. Now add Java X dot WS dot RS dot core dot application. and then end the servlet name tag and then add load load on startup and it's value one and then end this tag Now just need to end this server tag. We need to add server mapping. For that, we need to add server mapping tag. And then we have to give servlet name that will be the same on the application one servlet name and I'm just gonna copy from here and then we need to end this tag servlet name And the last one is solid mapping tag that we need to end. Oh, we got the server name. We need URL patent too. We need to uh, add that tag URL dash pattern. And I'm just gonna give 
web resources and then we need to end this tag now we are done with this web XML file if there are no errors now we are done building a very simple JAX RS RESTful web service now we can deploy and run the RESTful web service application we can right click on the project and click on run 